hello beautiful family welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us a recipe you should use if you are always experiencing near success syndrome what do i mean by near success syndrome each time you want to achieve anything at the verge of getting that thing you will experience disappointment that it will never come to you again when you are hundred percent a percent sure that that thing is yours at the end of the day stories will enter take for instance you apply for a job interview you've gone for the first interview the second one the third one and they have assured you that you are among the best so you've gotten hope that there is no how they will give you the job or even the best all of a sudden they will tell you that because of your age because of your tribe because of this because of that they cannot give you the job that is number one example of near success syndrome. Or somebody promised to give you something and asks you to come by 3 p.m. to pick up the thing. When immediately it's 3 p.m., you call the person, the person will not pick. And if the person eventually picks, the person will start telling you stories. And maybe you have actually budgeted with that money. That will make you to be disappointed because you don't know what to do again at that point. You can even take your life, you can even kill yourself, you, can, you, you, you will just be frustrated. These are things people experience on a daily basis. So if you are experiencing anything near success syndrome, please, this video is going to help you by the grace of God to put an end to it. Remember, near success syndrome can be manipulated. Some people do it to people, sometimes it's just a natural thing. Some people manipulate your, your destiny because they watch everything happening in your life. They monitor you with the evil mirrors to make sure that you don't achieve anything in life. Anything that is coming your way, they will block it spiritually and physically that it will never get to you. So whether your own near success syndrome is spiritual or physical, this recipe by the grace of God will help put an end to it. Near success syndrome and disappointment, they work hand in hand. So when you're experiencing this, you just need two ingredients to put an end to it. Number one is honey. This is my honey okay then another thing is our clothes these are my clothes yes for most of you that still come to ask me where you can get your clothes if you're in nigeria these women that sell spices that sell zobo stuffs that sell ginger and garlic they sell clothes just ask them they, they are going to give it to you then this honey you have to make sure you have original honey if you don't have original honey please it might not work for you so how do you use this to put an end to near success syndrome? You are get, uh, you are going to get a good quantity of clothes, maybe a handful, a cup, a half cup, depending on the quantity you can afford or you can assess. Blend it, grind it, powder, just make it to be in powdered form. Every morning when you are baking, take one tablespoon of uh, one teaspoon, teaspoon, the small spoon you use in feeding kids. Put it in your baking water. Take one tablespoon of honey add to your baking water then begin to pray tell god to blind the eyes of your enemies any man any woman monitoring you both physically and spiritually that god should put an end to it that god should blind their evil eyes and sweeten your life again remember that if you don't get rid of negative energies negative forces monitoring spirits you may hardly progress because they monitor everything you do and quench it spiritually so physically you start suffering so tell god to dis the, to disconnect any spiritual monitoring spirit monitoring mirror that the enemies are using on you wherever they are monitoring you from from your village from your mother's side from your father's side from your office from your business environment from your company where you live your friends your relative anybody that is monitoring you that God should blind them and remove their attention from you and make your life to be very sweet and pleasant to him. That you are tired of being frustrated. Remember when you keep experiencing this, you can it can lead to frustration. You will hear people jumping into the lagoon. You hear people jumping into the car for them to kill them. These are frustration. Maybe they don't have anything to do again. They have planned themselves towards that business they have hoped on. I've seen somebody that is planning for a barrier and somebody brought a contract for him and promised to, you know, uh, 
upon the contract within seven days. On the seventh day, the person's phone got switched off till after like a month when she, he was able to contact the person. The person said he has given it to another person. So these are the things the enemies can do to frustrate you. Imagine you have planned with that money what you do with it, how you can use it to change your life, how you can use it to feed your children. Sometimes you have planned to use it to buy food stores for the family and they'll start telling you stories. And when you know that your children have not eaten, there is no hope, there is no where money is going to come from. Sometimes you see, you will hear that the man slept and died because of too much thinking, because of frustration. May that not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. May God grant us our hard desires and remove any negative energies fighting us. May God fulfill all our dreams, all our good dreams. May it come to pass. May we never labor, may we never labor in vain. We shall never, never labor in vain. Whatever we lay our hands on must prosper. We will never get frustrated in life. We will never think of taking our lives. We will never think of stealing. We will never think of committing crime in order to eat. May God prosper us as we watch this video and do exactly what I have instructed. May it work for you and work more than what you expected. You will never experience anything disappointment. You will never experience anything near success syndrome. Wherever your name is mentioned, it must be mentioned for good, not for evil. Any man, any woman monitoring you as from today will get blind. They will never see you. I command every monitoring mirror to get broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. May God prosper every one of us on this channel. May God prosper all my followers both on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. You must prosper. It's a must. You must prosper. You will never beg again to eat. You will never, disappointment will never be your portion. Near success syndrome will never be your portion. You will never cry before you eat. Anything you want, God is going to supply it more than 100 folds for you. If it's your hospital fees, your children's school fees, your house rent, you will never beg before you get you pay them. God is going to rewrite your story as you do this recipe. Just do it with faith and endeavor to share your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. Please type Amen to claim the prayers and by the grace of God, it is going to come to pass in your life. 2023 must be our year of overtake. It must be our year of overflow. We will never beg again. We will never shed tears of sympathy. We will never shed tears of horror, uh, uh, tears of sorrow. We will never shed tears of poverty. The only tears permitted to share in our, we are going to shed is the tears of joy. And that will be my portion and that of everybody watching me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to share this video to encourage somebody out there and let that person know that God is in the business of blessing his children. Thank you, thank you, and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.